Let's start with our warm ups today and see where we go from there. Get some gentle breathing to start with. So get your body into mountain pose, feet right ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, core activated with those ribs toward the spine and up and shoulders back and down. And just take a moment with that yoga breath. So inhaling, coming to the lowest part of the lungs where the oxygen exchange is best. So letting that belly rise, then the ribs rise, then the collarbones, filling the whole capacity of your lungs, and then exhaling it all back down, emptying, letting the stress and tension go. Spread your toes, relax your shoulders, stretch the spine apart. And as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your chest, elbows back, stretch to the front, shoulders still down, and then bring your hands behind you, just gently clasp the fingers together, down toward the floor as you lift your heart, stretch your head back. Remember, don't lift your chin too much, keep stretching the neck. Pivot at your hips, exhale, come on over. And just bring the hands up, the head down, move your chin around, let that neck release, all that shoulder tension out. And then bend your knees slightly, lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, and then wind from the bottom of the spine all the way back to the top. And stretch. Shoulders down, chest high, and head back. Just as much back bending as you want today. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling that stimulation through your spine. Again, arms to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips out, but keep the shoulders down. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers one position over, lift your heart, stretch your head back, and again, as much back bend as you like, and then exhale, pivoting at your hips into that forward position as deeply as you want to go. Head toward your legs, hands toward your head. Keep breathing. And again, on an inhalation, slowly work your way all the way up the spine. And again, lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders. And again, a back bend as much as your spine would like. Stretch out through the top of your head. Keep lengthening through the whole spine. And then inhale upright and release into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling that shoulder area, bring it a couple of times around and back and down. And we'll do our sides. Let's keep one arm down today and the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Lift the hands and lean over to the side. As you get into that side stretch, push the foot you're leaning away from down, but slightly up so you're not leaning forward. And just feel those ribs opening up as that other side gets a little contraction through the side. And then inhale to the top, release that arm. And again, just feel what's different so we can match it up. Other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands, get that stretch started. And we slide this hand down toward your knee or as far as it wants to go. And again, just pushing the foot down and the hand away, the head out. Drop the shoulder, don't stress it. And don't forget to feel those ribs opening. Inhale back to the top and release. And again, let's circle those shoulders a little bit and release into mountain pose. We'll do our spine stretch and twist. So really get the base of the spine and base of the skull stretching apart so those bones will move into your twist. Arms out, shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Just clasp your elbows, pull those arms next to your ears, sitting bones down, spine open, and exhale into the twist. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come on over. Deepen as much as you'd like. Keep the arms by your ears. Pull your head in towards your legs as far as it wants to go. Lift the sitting bones. Relax your shoulders. And keep the weight on both feet. 
Spread your toes out. Keep the weight on both feet as you work your way back up, staying in your twist and into that upper body only for the back bend. Remember, when you're twisted, you want to be gentle on your low back. Elbows back, arms by the ears, chest lifting. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, stretch it out and exhale to the other side. Take a breath in and exhale over. Take a few breaths, just relax and stretch. Sitting bones up, inhale, work your way to the top. And again, lift your heart and elbows back, shoulders down. Take a few breaths there in that upper body back bend while you're twisting. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, stretch up in the extended mountain. Turn the palms out, bring the hands to shoulder level, stretch. And then bend the elbows, bring your fingertips together, keep the elbows as much at shoulder level as you can. And then pull the elbows back, fingertips separating, and then back together. And then stretch the arms all the way out and pull behind you as far as it wants to go. You can go far or not, it's your choice. And then hands back, fingertips together, right at shoulder level. Fingertips apart, elbows pulling back, together, and all the way around. Let the shoulders get a little release, and together. Once more, back, and around and out. And release into mountain pose. Feel those shoulders, spines, and everything else. Circle the shoulders, just let them relax. And then the backstroke and swimming, getting those shoulders moving a little bit more. So just move your whole body as you go. Feel the spine working as well as the shoulders. And then bring both arms up. Stretch high on one side, coming up on the opposite toe. Feel the ribs opening, stretching through that side. Exhale that side down. Inhale the other one up. And again, the side you're stretching, that foot is flat, the other one on the toes. Exhale down. Let's do it again. Get a good lengthening through that side. Releasing and inhaling again up. And then bring both arms, feet down, both arms up, shoulders down. Hook your thumbs together, stretch it up, and keep the arms by your ears, pivot into that halfway down position. Stretch the sitting bones and fingers and spine head away. And then drop into ragdoll. Just hang, move those shoulders around as you get down. Slide your hands up under your knees. Get that halfway up stretch again with the palms just gently on the shins. Spine straight, elbows straight, knees straight. Lift the sitting bones. And then drop again into ragdoll and bend your knees. Slowly work the way up. And again, into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there. Readjusting whatever you need to, coming back into your standing position. And then bring one arm out, bend the elbow, bring the other arm out, laying it around and underneath the arm, and bring your palms together if you can. Shift those nose, knee, thumbs. Let's get the body parts right. Thumbs right in front of your nose, and pull the elbows down and in. You can't quite reach the palms together, back of the hands is So feel the back of the shoulders working. Let them relax, keep breathing. And then push your elbows out and up. And just feel what's going on in your body. Take a breath, sink gently into your knees. Find your balanced foot, sink it down. And then bring the opposite leg up and over and across. Wrap your toes back toward your calf as much as it wants to go, coming into eagle balance. And then release those legs and release those arms. Just swing them around.
As you get back into mountain pose, feel your shoulders. Exhale any of that balance stress. And we'll do the other side. Arm out, bending the elbow. And again, the other arm out, shoulder stays down, fling it under, see if those hands can touch, or back of the hands. Pull those thumbs toward your nose. And again, elbows down and in. And then slightly out and up, coming into your <clears throat> shoulder stretching position. Bend your knees slightly. And again, on the opposite foot, lift the other leg up, bring it up and across and toes back towards your head. And across. Find your balance if you can. Breathe into it. Releasing the foot and the arms. And again, just release any tension and tightness from all that work. Back in mountain pose, bring your hands to your heart. Stretch the spine apart. Inhale, follow the hands toward the ceiling and behind you as you come into that back bend. Lift your heart, stretch your head back. Exhale, hands to your chest, pivot on over, dropping into your leg. Hands up under your knees again, that halfway up stretch. Exhale, bend your knees, come all the way to the floor for our child pose transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. And just take a moment there, breathing. Let the shoulders release and relax. You can move them around. Knees together, get a good stretch on your back. And don't forget to breathe. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, slide off, and bring your legs out to the front. Push out through your heels, pull your toes back, sitting bones behind you, and stretch the crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment there, just feeling that core activated, those shoulders relaxing down, and don't forget to breathe. Warm up our hips a little bit, so bring your foot to the opposite thigh, and let the knee come down to the side. So remember, that outside of the hip joint, hip rotator, needs to just relax, so let it happen. If it's feeling really tight today, bring that leg over to the side and give it a little release. And keep your knee and toes up on that front leg. Go as deep into it as you want. Remember, you can add weight, but not pressure. If you want to put your hands on that knee, but don't put it, that makes resistance and it, lets, it doesn't let it relax as much. So we want it to relax. Relax muscles stretch more, they release those Eight joints more, so just let it happen. Take a breath. Tension out. As that knee comes down, just let it go as far as it wants to. Don't force it. Just allow whatever it wants to do. Maybe incrementally improving in its stretch ability. And then when you're ready, bring your ankle and knee into your hands or pull your arms around and pull the leg in and rotate back and forth, side to side, and getting that hip joint lubricating through that synovial fluid there. If it's easy and you love it, you can get higher or closer for a little more intensity, but don't go there if that's already enough. <clears throat> and then release back into staff position, feeling the two sides, they're different now. So we need to balance the body, do the other one. So bring that other foot up to your thigh, let the knee come down. Notice one side may be tighter than the other. Remember, that's our habitual use of our bodies, getting in and out of cars and tables and desks and things. So don't force anything, just let it happen. If this is your tight side, again, you can bring that foot over to the side. Just relax, keep breathing. Remember injuries too, a couple of years, three years, four, five, six years ago, I injured my hip on this side and my knee wouldn't come out anywhere. It was like up here and that was it. So if that's where you are, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just let it happen because if you nurture it and allow it to release, it will. Take a breath. And again, bringing your leg up into your hands or arms. Move it again. 
letting things relax. Just feeling that lubrication get warmer. If it does and you like it more or no, always personal practice. And as you exhale, release that leg and feel that both sides are now a little bit warmer, which is good because we're going to use that. So we're going to go into cow face pose. It's going to use both our shoulders and our hips. So bend your right knee, bring it out to the front and bring that heel back near your hip or out to the side, wherever it goes. Sitting bones behind you and then take the left knee and bring it, bring it on top of the right knee as much as it can and the other heel back across from the other one back near your hips or out to the sides, wherever they go. Notice that your hips are working a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be a little intense there. If it gets too much, yeah, you can release a little bit. Just bring those feet further out and just go where it's okay for you. So we've got the left knee on top. We're going to bring that right arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Bend the elbow, bring the hand right onto your back of your neck area, and then take the other hand, pull the elbow in, and let that hand slide further down your neck. Push your head back into that arm because otherwise we have a tendency to round forward. We want the spine nice and straight. You can keep pushing with that hand to get it as much into alignment as you need. And then bring the other hand, the left hand around and see if you can clasp your hands behind you. If you can't, just hold your shirt and work them toward each other or if we were prepared in advance, you could have a belt to do that with and just hold the belt in your upper hand and then work along the belt with that lower hand. So the elbows pull in toward the spine and then push away from each other. So the up elbow goes up and the down elbow goes down. Now notice as you're working with those shoulders, getting things into position in that upper body, pushing your head into that upper arm and seeing if you can get those hands together behind you that your hips kind of release a little bit more because you've forgotten about them. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Take a breath. Just let everything release. And then let go of your shirt or your hands and unwind your shoulders. Just let them release again. Feel that circulation increase. Oh, yeah, don't forget. You can bring your legs back to staff position too. Take a breath. Just feel your body again. That's a little intense, but we still need to balance the body and do it the other way. So keep that core active, keep the shoulders down, keep the spine stretching apart as you bend the left knee and bring it to the front, heel over near your right hip or wherever. And again, just feel this hip working, you know, just let it relax. Bend your right leg knee above the left knee as much as possible. There's going to be space between your knees. Don't worry about that unless you're really super flexible through those hips. Those knees won't get anywhere near each other. Take a breath. Core active. Shoulders relaxing. <clears throat> and yeah, we're going to do the arms as well. So let those <clears throat> sitting bones just sink as much evenly as you can. On one side, maybe up a little. That's okay. Arm out to the side, shoulder down, palm up, hand above your shoulder, bend the elbow, bring that hand by your neck. Other hand, pulling on the elbow, slide that, what is that, left hand down your neck toward your spine, and push your head into that upper arm. Notice which side is a little tighter, maybe just, just do it whatever your body wants to do. Take a breath, keep that head pushing back, take your right hand around and see if you can clasp. If that works, you can stay there or just hold the shirt or strap if you had to get up and get back. And pushing back and stretching elbows apart and in toward the spine. Take a breath, just notice what's going on through your arms and shoulders as you work them in and apart. And, oh yeah, your neck stretches as you keep that head reaching up and the head pushing back into that upper arm so you're not rounding and leaning forward. Take a breath and just notice that your hips are sinking as well. 
Take a breath again, just breathing. Exhale, <laughs> any tension. Letting things just maximize as much as your body wants in this position on this side today. And when you've had enough, just release your hands, arms, just moving those shoulders around, getting that release and circulation returning. Oh, and yeah, let's release those four legs and hips as well, coming back into stand position. As you get back there, take a moment and breathe. And then just come into a cross leg position, sitting bones behind you. Now, as we said, creatures of habit, we do this the same all the time. So switch around and bring the other leg to the front or top. Shoulders back and down. Put your hands around your knees, pull your ribs in, tuck your chin slightly, and bring your forehead forward toward the floor. And then we're going to roll over to one side. Look to the front and side of the neck toward the ceiling. And then roll toward the back, lifting your heart, looking straight up. Keep stretching through that back of your neck. Roll over to the other side, ear toward the shoulder, looking to the front. And then round toward the floor in the middle. And let's do that circle one more time, over to the side. Lifting the heart, coming to the back, stretching your neck the whole time, all the way around, back to the center in the front. And reverse your circle, going the other way, again to the side, looking up, heart open, stretching that neck, coming to the other side, back around, toward the floor. Rolling that same circuit one more time, just breathing with it, maximizing the stretch as you go and returning to the front. And then as you inhale, sit back up into your cross leg position and switch legs around. So coming back into your seated position, just take a moment and breathe. And we're gonna just stretch the sides of the neck a little bit more. So shoulders back and down, core supporting your spine, stretch up, sitting bone slightly behind you and crown toward the ceiling. We're going to bring one ear over toward the shoulder. Keep both shoulders down, no hunching up. Just drop them away, shoulder blades toward your waist, head coming over toward the side. Take the hand you're tipping toward, weight, not pressure, on the outside of your head, just letting that outside of this neck get a little extra stretch. If you like that and you want even more stretch, you can bring your hand to the floor and press it down, either palm or fingertips, if that's something that would enhance your experience. So remember, just weight on this hand, not pressure, don't push. Pushing makes those muscles release or tighten, not release. So you want the muscles to relax and that whole area just to stretch. So breathe, exhale. Let it go. And then bringing your hand and other hand down. Tip your head back up and feel the difference on the two sides of your neck. So yeah, balance your body. Tip your ear to the other side. Let it relax. Take a breath. Tension out. And then the side you're tipping toward, that hand comes up. Again, just weight, not pressure. Just let it release any tension, relaxing through that side of your neck and shoulder. Breathe deep. If you want more, you can bring the other hand to the floor for a little extra stretch. Always optional, personal practice. Keep the face to the front. Keep the ear just coming down. Keep both shoulders relaxing. And don't forget to keep breathing, exhaling any tension, just letting the stretch happen. And then releasing, bringing the hands back to your lap. Tip your head back upright. Take a moment and feel the two sides a little bit different. And stretch out your legs. And then bringing your feet to the end of the mat. Core activated. And just slowly roll all the way to the floor. And just take a moment, bring those shoulders down toward the mat. Stretch out, feet hip width apart. 
Bring your hands to T position, arms up, and then sitting down slightly toward your heels. Let's bend your knees and bring the heels in toward your hips. Cross one leg, right leg over the other. We're going to roll to the left side with those knees. So bring the left foot off the floor and your knees over to the side as far as they want to go. Put your feet on the floor or pillow under your knees if you need a little support. And just let those knees keep coming down for that lower back twist as much as you want. And turn your head toward that opposite arm for your neck area twist. Shoulders down, hands, palms up or down, either way doesn't make a difference for this particular twist. Take a breath. Exhale, just let those shoulders release and spine move into its twist as much as it wants to. The more you exhale, remember the more things release, ligaments relaxing, spine stretching, and body moving further into your twist when it's ready, but don't ever force it. And of course, hold the twist longer if you have time, but for now, just heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, uncross your leg, feet to the floor, straighten things out, and bring the other leg across, left knee crossed over. Foot up and knees to the side, going over toward the right as you look toward the left. <clears throat> Elbows relaxing, shoulders releasing, knee going toward the floor as far as it wants to go on this side. And turn your head toward that, what is it, left arm. Breath. Again, exhaling tension, letting the twist occur as much as your body is willing to do on this side. No forcing, just let the twists happen. The more you breathe and relax, the more those knees will come down. Keep those shoulders, though, on the floor for that middle back twist. So the knees may never make it to the floor, don't worry if they do. Deep breaths, just relaxing everything. And again, hold as long as it's comfortable and you have time, but we want to get to our relaxation. So bring your heels toward your hips and roll onto your back, uncrossing your leg, straighten things out. Slide those feet down and turn your hands, palms up near your hips, slightly away from your sides. Circle those shoulders, bring them down toward the floor. Toes together and then just let your lower body relax. Lots of hip work, so let that hip area just come into a comfortable position. Move it around as much as you need to to find it. Bring those shoulders back and down, palms up. Slightly away from your side so that chest area, heart stays open. Soften your face, scrunch it up, and exhale. Let it relax. And just allow your body to soften and sink. Shoulder area, the hips. We did a lot of work with both today. Just exhale and let it all go. Body softening. Muscles releasing and just relax deeply into corpse position for your final release. Body relaxing fully, just let it grow heavier with each breath, sinking deep into that earth support. And let Mother Earth support you as she always does, and let your body go. And as you completely relax even deeper into that earth embrace, allow thoughts of your body just to release from your awareness. As those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. Just let them go as well. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. No need to think about the content of any thought coming to you. Just let it drift away without attention. Allow your thoughts to flow as easily as your breath. And allow your awareness to release your mind and your body. Let that awareness focus deep within. Find the peace. 
feeling your body, feeling your mind, and just taking a few moments to be peace. And just keep breathing deeply, relaxing fully and completely for as long as you have time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, whenever you're ready, begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the one, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. It's circling those knees and hips around, moving your ankles shoulders. Release and relax everything. As you breathe more deeply, begin stretching more fully as much as you'd like today. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels, your heels up toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, just bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and get back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.